everybody, this is Praxis, and today is not one of those days where I feel like I got an awful lot accomplished. Uh, it was somewhat successful, as you can see, I got over to the doorway in terms of exterior sheathing, but I was really getting pulled in a lot of different directions. Uh, when I uh, got close to the door, I realized I, well, I had two 16-foot boards left and I only needed one. Both of them had a bit of a minor flaw in them where, like, a... Uh, a knot was kind of close to the edge and it just made it so that uh, it would make an entry point for you know insects or rodents or whatever to get in uh, and that was it for 16s that were sealed so I had to start sealing some more 16s uh, I started those boards but then some rain came through it's been a really variable day where I've been uh, you know sealing boards and then running them under shelter it's better out here because it's been sunny most of the day and the breeze makes them dry faster but obviously when it rains that's not good so I there was a lot of running boards back and forth and I, I just got sidetracked on a lot of a lot of things so I didn't I didn't get a heck of a lot done um, <clears throat> I am to that point though on the inside I started doing some sheathing across the front of the door which might seem kind of stupid because it's like well that's not even outside why don't you just do that during the winter but there are some um, some future wires that I have to hide uh, from the electrical inspection just so that they, they aren't part of the equation. We have our electrical inspection on the stuff that's kind of uh, was fixed in place during the rough and the rough was happening like when there really wasn't even any greenhouse or anything. Uh, we do want to have some wiring in the greenhouse and it just made so much more sense to run it before I put these boards up instead of trying to like you know take the boards off later. Um, but we got to cover all that stuff up so it's like that part doesn't exist yet just you know judge it based on what's in the house uh, so I've got to cover all that stuff up um, I also I ha had to work with uh, uh, more boards up on the top kind of trying to keep those out of the rain and everything oh, overall it's just been I got some stuff done but it wasn't the best day ever my dad however came and he finished up all the electrical stuff that we had to do up on the third floor which was just essentially just covering up wires there were wire runs that kind of went through closets where they'd come up through a board and you know you know kind of skirt across it and he made little caps that go across that the third floor is done what's left for wiring uh, stuff i have to cover up on the inside is just the ceilings of the bathrooms both ceilings have some missing boards in particular the the first floor bathroom uh, the entire ceiling is open. You can see all the plumbing from the bathroom above and you can also see wiring uh, and I really don't want to cover it up because I have so little faith in the plumber's work uh, that did all the, the plumbing work on it because you know just progressively like they finished up and then like two months later there were leaks springing in, in their stuff. It's just I, you know I've done plumbing before. I've hired other plumbers before Compared to me, a layperson, their work is really bad. Uh, I don't want to cover up their work because I may need to get access to it later. If I just board the things up, uh, you know, drip, 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 you know, six months from now, I'll have to tear all those boards down. So I, I want to make panels that can go up, get screwed up, and easily come down. Um, and that takes more work. So it's unfortunate that I got to do it that way. But um, that's pretty much it finishing up the ceilings of the two bathrooms and uh, I gotta put all the wall plates on because uh, also the electrical inspector wants to see that the the plates around all the receptacles and switches are there which is just silly to me it's like what is it like a proof of concept that you could attach plates to them because the walls aren't finished we're gonna screw the plates on and then we're gonna take all the plates off so we can finish sealing the walls and stuff so it's kind of kind of dumb I feel like Plates over light switches are probably a, a proven technology. You don't have to demonstrate that they can screw on. I don't know, but um, we got to do that. So uh, it's a, just a plane going overhead. Um, so yeah, all right day today. It's nice that the third floor is done. I'm glad my dad came today to help out with that. And God, I got to hope tomorrow I'm going to finish that section because the day after that it's going to rain. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching.